throwing some confetti to welcome your host, Diener, to the stage. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad that you all made it today. Tonight's show, we have an amazing creator for you, um, somebody that I have seen grow so much um, in the last uh, couple of years that I have known him. I've been asked on to play that uh, intro music and we'll bring him out. Relax and you can come out now. <laughs> I wanted to be cheeky. I wanted to be cheeky. How you doing, guys? Put some confetti out. Of course, we love the show. Gosh. Thanks for that. I was like, can, are you still in party only? What's happening right now? Oh, we always right. make sure. Yeah. So, um, Relaxin and I have known each other for a very long time. Um, he's actually one of my best friends in here. However, he's an amazing, brilliant builder, um, and he deserves to be on the stage today. So, um, let's give Ooh. him a round of, round of applause. Okay, tell us tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, some people may not know you very well um, that are here. Tell us how you got into VR and you know what prompted you to get that first VR set um, to start doing what you do in here before well, we go into what you're doing. So this dates back, I would say, so the start of how I got into VR wasn't really Horizon Worlds like many people does. I was more into VR chat person, actually. I've been playing VR chat since the COVID times of 2020. Um, I didn't have a headset by then. I was more playing on the old PC. Yeah, I know some people are like, oh, that's not a good experience. But um, I was playing around a few VR chat worlds and, you know, didn't really see the need for a headset until I was went to VR chat and I would say I met a group of friends who became a very important people to me and as more time i spent with them welcome to the mindful bites podcast oh we love dawn <laughs> can we give a confetti for her <laughs> so i was obviously i met this group and they i always said oh it doesn't seem fun without the headset but they would prompt me and say hey get yourself a headset and i got the first quest to in I would say the summer of 2021 or 2022, actually, when I got my first Quest 2. Um, and then as I dove into the headset and experienced VR a bit more, um, immediately I knew that everything's going to change for me. And that's where I was like, I really love what VR is. It's not just a flat screen. It's now immersed to me. And I was like, I'm going to love this. Yeah, so you made friends in the 2D game first. Yes. And then you got your headset. Yeah, they they prompted me to say, hey, get a Quest 2. They're like perfectly affordable. Get it. And I made the purchase and I was like, yep, I think I'm going to like this. <laughs> so how many of you out there have been in VR chat? How many of you have delved in there? Okay. All right, quite a few people. All right, so yeah, VR chat is also a, a fun social experience as well. Um, I've been in there quite a bit myself. Um, but did you guys know that Relaxin is a VR chat world recreation specialist? Did you know that? So tell us a little bit about what you do, what that title um, entails. So the title can be a little confusing, but I, but as I gave it to myself, so the way I started re, uh, become a VR chat recreation specialist was more, um, I saw what VR chat world has to offer and it's got, and we all know who anyone who's been to VR chat is most beautiful detailed like worlds. Anyone who's been there knows how beautiful the worlds are when it comes to details, the visuals and everything. And I'm like, it's, it's missing. And. I was like, it needs more people. And obviously we know the crowd with VR chat, they're more different and diverse compared to Horizon Worlds. And I felt like some of these worlds would be brilliant um, to be shared with more the more mature and older audience. So mm -hmm. I, I had a long thought about it. And, I, and when it comes to say, oh, have you been to this world? Have you been to that world? 
most people would be like, oh, I've never heard of it. And so, and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be really cool to actually bring it to here to promote it? And as much as it sounds like, oh, that's quite interesting, how would I do it? Now, I've, I would say I build a few basic simple worlds, and this was out of my craft zone, like my craft level. Like when you look at these details, you think that's unbelievable. And then you look at our capacity features, you know, you think that's not possible. But I was like, nope, it can be possible. We just have to work on it. And that's when I made my first re- my first recreation world of Drinking Night, which one is my personal favorite of my one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll be we'll be talking about that one shortly. Um, but the one we want to talk about first today is the one that you guys will see right over here to my right. And that is Midnight Rooftop. Um, we do have one of our friends um, that's here today that she just goes in there sometimes just to listen to the rainfall. And she'll just hang out in there um, by herself. Um, it's so peaceful in there. So will you tell us a little bit about what um, inspired you to, you know, make that world and recreate it? And what, what made you start wanting, wanting to actually do this? So again, Midnight Rooftop is one of those worlds where if you've been to VR chat, you know the world. If you're not, you've heard the name. It's literally like I would say it's it's always been the top ten worlds to go to if you want to relax, socialize with your friends, or even just have time to think. The beautiful music, uh, a song called Calm Down by Sad Su, which I had the pleasure of meeting him. Um, told him that I'm a big lover of the song. And then with Midnight Rooftop, I have would say I've had really great memories from there when it comes to meeting a few people, when it comes to mm-hmm. chilling out, or even mirror dwelling, which was, it's one of those things where you pick a mirror and just show, look at your avatar for hours. But it has that beautiful <laughs> atmosphere that even I wish I could live in in real life. And I feel like um, it should be more than just VR chat. This world deserves to go everywhere. So when it came to putting Midnight Rooftop here, um, so what I'd done is I basically thought, well, I really want to put Midnight Rooftop into this world. And I thought, first of all, if I'm going to do this, I need some consent. So I always get consent when I do the builds. Every VR chat recreation world has to be consented first. I will ask the immediate creator, which is I'm Lex. I directed them, messaged them, and said I'd like to recreate your world and explain how how I'd make it um, and everything because not everyone from VR Chat knows what Horizon was like. So I offered, said I'd build it myself with no like payments or cost or anything. I'd do it by voluntary, and I'm more than happy to do it. Midnight Rooftop was a challenge because it went from finding the little details to a few things and there's huge um, environments to try and make it work within Horizon Worlds uh, limits capacity. And then I've also uh, contacted the, the, the artist again, Satsu, and said I'd like to use your song for that and they were more than happy. Mm. And then throughout, once I took time, this one took me about a month and a half to do. That's daily, by the way, all day and night. And then once I start got in the world, I start promoting it, such as places like the world tours, the indie tours. It was ranked number four, by the way. No, was it number one? No, it was number one, actually. It was number one of the top ten of the world uh, tours. Oh, okay. And when I saw the impression, people come into the world and say, oh, I remember this world from VR chat. Oh, this is beautiful, and this and that. And I said to myself, this is what I want to do. This is why I want to recreate the world and promote the world. I've even had people on um, VR chat said, oh, I, I heard there's a midnight rooftop in Horizon Worlds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it has the background music. And I'm like, that's mine. Yeah. But yeah. in every VR chat world, I always make sure that there's a disclaimer proven I get consent. Right. Yeah. And when I've been in that world too, it just feels, it feels like I'm in VR chat because I'm, you know, when I'm in there, it, it just has that same feel and that same vibe, which is which is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I just love that world. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful world. You did a great job with that. It's my first world to ever hit over 100 likes, so I'm honored. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So how does how does making Midnight Rooftop inspire your other builds? How does how has that had an impact on your other builds before we move on to them? So it pushed me out of my limits of my comfort zone of building. Like I never thought about getting a third party music or go as far as detail of like going from copying a photo, like take a simple photo and then just try, try and copy every like mm. shape of it. And as much slowly as I do it, I realized that I could build something that I didn't know I could do before. And when I was building it, I'm taking it slow and I'm there like building the image. I'm building the place. And oh, I, it was one of those experiences where you, for those who are builders, you know when you have that like little hint or when you build something and you re don't realize how good it is until you take a step back? It was one of them. And when I looked back after, like, I do the apartment or I do the rooftop, and I'm just like, wow, I actually can't believe I made this. <laughs> yeah. And it made me inspired to do more. Yeah, because when you're building, you're you're up close with everything, so you can't see the bird's eye view until you take a step back and really take it in. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely one of those things where it also taught me how to be become attention to detail, like every, even the littlest thing people can tell. And I felt like there's always going to be some bugs. Like every world, no world is instantly perfect. I mean, we all got flaws. But it's nice that we have people come in and say, oh, there's a problem here, there's a problem there. And it's grateful when um, having people just check it out, take photos and say, oh, you made a mistake on that part. And right. I'm like, cool, I get to fix it. And it just it's me. Yeah, and as a, you want to know that, you want it to be kind of as mo as perfect as possible anyway. So, yeah. Oh, definitely. So definitely. That's, that's why testers are a good thing. Even if somebody isn't a builder, yeah, being a tester is great. What? Dawn. <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm not saying anything. Oh, it's okay, Donnie. It's all right. It's okay, Dawn. We love Dawn. Yeah, we love Dawn. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Winter Company. So that's another VR chat recreation world. Oh, this one took me a longer time. So when I said I did Midnight Rooftop for a month and a half daily straight, Winter Company took me, and I'm not going to lie, six months. That includes um, copying because um, from imagery and so, there was a scripting issue, so I had to hire an actual scripter, which I didn't mind, you know, because if I wanted to do something, I'd go 100% into it. Mm -hmm. This is like I hire scripters. I find people who are also VR chat uh, users come in here, check it out and be like, oh, you need to work on that. You need to work on that. Not as testers, but they're like, you need to do this bit. You need to do that bit. You need to do that bit. <laughs> Winter Company, I'd say, was the hardest. When you look at it, you don't think it's hard, but when you had to like, perfectly angled like the roof part or mm -hmm. the or the the type of right mesh the texture or the right scripting without it going completely like hugely capacity um because i've actually fully experienced um on spawn assets so that's for like kind of intermediate kind of uh scripting where you can go into a world or activate something and then something you build is going to spawn into that world I've had multiple errors with that. But I've had the original creator, um, Lucifer, M-Star, who originally created uh, Midnight Rooftop. He is also a Horizon World user. Not as often, but he is. And he literally looked at us and he said, this is just as good as mine. Mm. And that's an honor. And he's actually become an editor. So if he wants to learn something, I teach him. Oh, okay. So you're teaching him things in Horizon on how to... If he wants to, yes. Yeah, okay. And yeah, he literally said that he's honored that 
his favorite world is in here. So that's his favorite world that he's made over in VR chat. Yes. Okay. However, if you go to the VR chat one now, there's a huge difference because he did a huge update. Um, but once we all get Trimesh, because he even said this, when we all get Trimesh, he's going to help me build that winter company into full Trimesh. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's a huge honor. So I can't wait. Yeah, that's going to be really fun. So let's talk about uh, the first one you built, the first VR chat world that you built. It was one called Drink. It, all this. Yeah, it it was called Drinking Nights, and it was it was a very cool world. And I say was because there's a reason for that. So do you want to talk about that a little bit? Okay, so for anyone who obviously we have younger audience, Drinking Nights is a, as its name stands, it's a place where adults go in socialize and indulge of alcohol it's a world that i go in weekly in actual vr chat um so i recreated that world as my first project um meeting a person called rackshaw she is the original creator of it and then when i first built it it was kind of like a good start i built the um stairs built the layout and even having games inside such mm -hmm. as Spin the wheel, spin the bottle, um, truthful dare, never have I ever. And I had the also had one game unknowingly should not be there, which I will not say, which um, went unintentionally went across the terms of condition or the COC. And it got my world deleted without any warning. And it really upset me because I spent hundreds of hours mm -hmm. building it. it. Yeah. And I had this big plan after Winter Company with Spawn Assets to build in more doors and more games to be a full immersive. But I went to skating at one point, just got an email and said, we've deleted drinking room. And it really got to me. And I was really upset. But yeah, I remember. Understand yeah. that we will have to follow rules, please. Everyone follow rules. Uh, so we, I came to spoke to the staff of Meta Horizon, and they explained to it. And I said, okay, I understand. And what I'll do now is I will let them know that I'm going to recreate it again, much better, which is way much better than it was. But I'll just take that very situation out. Right. So. That will be my next project to work on. And then I'll finish up my new worlds of another recreation world I'm doing. Okay. So um, before we have a question, because we do have a question, um, I, I do think that since that was your first one, I think your skill since then has gotten crazy mad. So. I think you're right. It's going to be even better the second time around. Well, it understandably, there are going to be times where you build something and it's going to go. The way, and it taught me a lesson. I think there's one lesson it taught me that, and I think there's a quote that I watch from another show which relates to that, which is the quote goes, new growth cannot exist without the first, the destruction of the old. And I felt like I can you grow from that while yes i've learned how to build properly from drinking nights i thought to myself let that go that's old school now that was the version one and then when it was deleted i thought new start and go from there and then recreated it and it's now halfway and it's much much more better than it is than it was like i'm talking you could not point out one thing I've done wrong. Is that good? Wow. Invite me in as a tester. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Oh. Okay, so Dawn, there, is there a question? Yeah, well, first of all, uh, and Casey Mon, if you want to elaborate, cause I'm not sure what you were referring to, but she had said, LOL, I had no idea. Do you want to elaborate what you meant by that, or do you want to just go past it? I'm not sure what you want to do. I love you, Casey. <laughs> 
By the way, can we all give a, a confetti for Casey Mon? She is an absolute top builder and a good friend of mine. Hey, Casey Mon. Hello. I love you, Cloud. I was just saying, I, I didn't know Lucifer and I didn't realize that's who that was. That's funny. <laughs> he doesn't. Very clever man. Very clever, you two. Nice job on everything. Thank you guys for having me. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Casey And Mon. then um, Iris said, where'd she go? Let me go. Uh, she said, do you have any interest in learning to script? Um, there has been a part where I do want to learn actually scripting, um, like, cause I do get like curious about what stuff you could do with scripting, such as, uh, the simple basic stuff or, um, maybe the intermediate kind of stuff. Cause I feel like that would help me in my build. Um, as the more VR chat recreation ones I want to do, the more attention to detail, even having the useful stuff instead of it being simple fade and fade out teleports right and then my question is what was the very first world you ever did in horizon worlds outside of creating vr creations? and what was the biggest takeaway or your biggest aha moment from when you're learning to build here in horizon worlds what do you mean by aha uh -huh moment? Like, like, um, oh, I didn't know you could do that. This is cool. I do this all the time. Or something that just really that you, that your go to, <laughs> like something that clicked, right? Is that what you're? Yeah, something okay, that you were like, so, oh, it clicked. Yeah. So when I first started building, um, so I was taught how to build by a certain someone who doesn't really play on him much, which is Jojo. Jojo at the name Jojo Noto at the time, but now it's Jojo Two Point Oh. She taught me how to build um, at one point, and I was just using assets. I was It's called uh, Podcasts in the Cloud. It was just using worlds like as assets, slit them in. And then Jojo said, no, you're doing it wrong. Do not rely on assets. Because the moment you rely on assets, you're not building. You're just putting things at once. Right. And then she was explaining to me how to build. She was teaching me the snap-on tool. And I'm like, God, that's smooth. That's like really nice because I used to yeah. put mine out of place. She said, no, no, snap on tool like this, like this, like this. Little te details she was teaching me. And then as further time got on, I was like, oh, I didn't know I can do that. Look how smooth that looks. Yeah. And that's where I now, because of that lesson, I teach anyone who is new to building snap on tool first. And that's where the answer goes. Nice. Uh, and I'm sorry if I butcher your name. I'm I'm doing the best I can here. But Esam fan Fab Seven said, "What got you where you are today?" I'm not sure what they're referring to as far as if it's about building. Uh, I'm assuming it's about building since we're in Creator Spotlight. That makes sense. But that's the question for from them. Um. So I know Esam fan. That's JoJo's uh, 2.0 son, actually. Um. Yeah. um <laughs> so I think where have I got to be? Um, well, I feel like it's good to challenge yourself when it comes to build. And if you feel like you could build something, you actually can. You just need time. And the the problem is, with as much as recreating VR chat sounds fun, it was difficult. It was hard. I'd be like working to. I'd be building to the moment I pass out of sleep, just to mm -hmm. get the right things like. If you ever been to Winter Company and you see like the the roof parts, that took me four hours. Just the part when you walk through in that corridor in, that took me four hours just to get the right part. And that is no that oh and that's where I feel like um that kind of taught me a lesson about how it far that I should keep pushing and that's where it got me today. Hope you learned that lesson too. Good answer. Okay, so Jillian says, relax and also spends a lot of time helping new bu builders. Big thanks. Um, I always and then, have you back. And then Casey, did you want to ask your question or do you want me to? No, okay. She said, are you going to build a beans on toast experience? <laughs> <laughs> I am, I've and I'm going to. I'm, but... I'm. I'm going to build Casey Mon from a from all primitive shapes. Her eating beans on toast. <laughs> <laughs> and I will make I... sure. 
and I'll make sure her boyfriend sees it. <laughs> and then I'm sorry, lost, but I'm skipping your question. It's, no, no, not, no, it's not... no, feel free to ask. Feel free. No, he, no, because he's asking what you think of my sassy yellow suit. We're just going <laughs> to skip over that question. <laughs> Plus, I think it looks cute on her. But does, on what Julian said, on, on what Julian said about me helping out building, I, I, it feels right that I give back, and I've taught people on build, uh, like masterclass and builders for um, what's her name, um, Diva Queen. She does like these, um, sometimes like teaches people how to build, how to script, and so. And I, I actually mm -hmm. offer to do masterclass for building for them. I've done building for Jillian, I've still got to do your project. I have worked with um, Eoson. Sorry if I put your name. I have always offered to help people. How to, I'm often happy to build some people. It's just I need to make time. And it's it's getting difficult because it's like I've got to recreate worlds, help mm -hmm. others, and then do my best. So I always try and give back. Yeah, and you always help me with my with my worlds too. So yeah, he's always he's always helping. So I don't know if you guys have been to Bohemian Rhapsody, but uh, him and I have uh, tag teamed that one for a while. That's been fun. It's been fun creating a season for a world for every season. So we have these ideas, and then we go in there and just knock it out. Which, and, which keep yeah. an eye out, Bohemian Rhapsody Easter editions coming out soon. Easter edition. See, that's that's news to me. Great. <laughs> but he'll help me get it done. <laughs> that's me do it in a way. Oh, awesome sauce. All right. So, Any other questions? Just yeah. Questions? Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah, ask. Actually, somebody just said a question. Uh, smoking okay. out 75 says, is there any faster way to build like a better PC or special programming for your PC? Oh, if you're trying to get yourself a better PC, there are websites I would suggest that can help you on what kind of stuff you want for your PC. If you talk about building stuff like, oh, do you want to, do you want to bring up the mic for smoking out? Because I feel like can... smoking out, come on from. Hey, smoking. Hi, uh, sorry, I didn't get it worded quite right. Right, it's hard to it's text okay. on that thing, but. I was wondering if there's a, a better PC you can get that would help you uh, create the world or, or create uh, and build faster or any programming that you can put on your PC that would help uh, you be able to build faster. Because you were saying how long it took just to build a little section. That's just – so I build primitively, so I use I use the app on here. Uh, with what's coming up with TriMesh being a, an external 3D modeling software, um, I feel like with using primitive shapes would be a great way to start learning how to 3D model or 3D build. Um, so I would rather learn, I'd rather suggest to learn slow, so that you know your speed and know um, your tools. For computer-wise, um, I don't know about like kind of specs or so, but there are multiple people in here that can help you with that information. That's cool. And I also see on here you can build for people and and sell your builds to them, right? Is that correct? I don't sell my builds actually. No, if I got okay. assets, I give them away for free. Well, I just know I kind of noticed that on Horizon. If you yeah, there are some people that do that. Yep, absolutely. Okay. I'm just mm -hmm. curious. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, Smokin. And then uh, Islam has a question, so you can come on down to the mic. Hey, Islam. You're muted. You're muted. I think you're at a party. So I have a question. It's something about my uh, PC. When I get on my PC and I try to get in my headset, it just says Meta Horizon Worlds, and it just says loading when I'm trying to get on my PC account on here and then it just loads on my like mouse and my keyboard hmm. okay i i don't I know don't that know we that have well yeah myself. i don't know that we have have a answer for that we might need mm -hmm. to take that one offline Isom. but so, if you're okay. looking for kind of going uh horizon mods on your pc uh join the discord i know there's loads of people who use it and they know that they know what to do yeah, that's a great All idea. Right. 
Um, yeah, I was just gonna record some uh, songs for one of my worlds. Um, okay. So. Well, if you want, if you want your songs to be in the world, I have a great friend here who helps me with all my music here. And it's mm-hmm. this guy called Ashman Media. Can we give up the confetti? He helps me with my third party music. Good friend. Uh, I like to promote him. If you want your know, like custom music in the background, give him a shout. He's a good friend of mine. He helps me every project. And he's making good at making music videos too. <laughs> Iris, some. Made, Iris made the comment that some of us find building from within the headset is still a big draw. The, oh, a huge Absolutely. draw. Yeah, huge draw. That, but everything has a draw. Um, some people do it better on PC. Some people do it better on headsets. Um, if you find it difficult with like doing headsets, though, it's understandable. Uh, I would just suggest you take things slow. And if you're struggling, seek out a builder. Um, I'm afraid I'm unavailable at the moment, but seek out a builder. They may help you on just a few things, and maybe even teach you a few things. Um, yeah. If you do new, if you are new to building, Lady Hawk has a word that should teach you basic uh, snap-on uh, tools and even basic building. And soon, I might be helping her with some extra building. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I think building to to kind of follow up with that, building in here is almost therapeutic at times. And I know Yvonne. I saw Yvonne was throwing confetti when uh, he said that because it's it's something that we can just immerse ourselves in and be creative. So if somebody loves to be creative, being in headset building is just hours fly by and it feels like it's been 45 minutes. Like it'll be two or three hours later and I'll be like, I thought I just put my headset on. So it's it's if you haven't, if you haven't started building, it is definitely worth dipping your feet in and just learning little by little, and it'll it will come to you. You will get that aha moment. Yeah. I think the, if you want to go and build as much as stuff like mine, um, and I'm always willing to help people out on that kind of stuff. Best yeah. advice would be is don't always rely on rely on other people to build if you're going to build if you can if you're not going to build then that's fair enough but if you're going to if you want to learn how to build don't rely on others too much because you're not really learning right what you want to do is put yourself on your own put some music in the background or have a bot or you know have a bit of music in your headset if you know how to do youtube Just throw yourself into a world and say right grab a picture what do you want to build if you want to build a tv cool make something simple then do it again if you've done that better do it again and slowly you will start building so many good assets awesome awesome advice so before we go to final thoughts we are going to try to do something here that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't so we're going to try to give away some contest points while you're here but with horizon sometimes being testy Sometimes we can't, so we're going to try it. And if it doesn't work, it's okay. So do you want to try to cue that up, Dawn, and see, is it working? It appears to be that cue is queuing up, I think, right? Okay. So there's going to be some names that are going to pop up here. Lost! Lost virtually. <laughs> Lost virtually. Come on, Come on in. Up. <laughs> Come on up. Go grab the uh, wackabee stick. And step over there in front of Dawn and whack that gong. Nope, nope, not Dawn. Nope, wrong gong. <laughs> that one. Wrong gong. Do I look like a gong to you? He must have got confused with your dress. Well, first of all, I'm not wearing a dress. It'll go back. <laughs> Thanks, Lost. Well, maybe. Good job. Good job. Awesome. But if I was to, works if, for us. Yeah. If I was to say any final thoughts or so, um, yeah. anyone can be a builder. You just need to put yourself in the on your own, make yourself an empty world, and just do what you want to build. If you're going to do a VR chat recreation build, 
go for it. Who, who, no one's going to stop you. Although I advise probably get permission. Okay. It will only <laughs> save your butt. But with anything else, if there's something you want to build, there's no stopping you. Just because some people make up trimers and you think, oh, I want trimers. It doesn't mean you're not getting it. You just give it some time. Be patient. Everyone's going to get it. You know? Yeah. And everybody I, has I, to start I, somewhere. You have to start somewhere. You know? We all started somewhere. Like, with nothing. With no knowledge. That's, that's the best advice to be. And there is one thing I'd like to announce, actually, since uh, I haven't really told with anyone. So, recently... I have actually forming a group, a small little group of, it's called Parallel Echo. Parallel Echo is a little group that's VR chat recreation builders. I've got myself and unique JCB. He too makes phenomenal worlds. And slowly we'll be um, seeking out certain builders to come build like VR chat recreation worlds to the point that we will get to the point we can build any midnight any world like midnight rooftop or so by request awesome. and that's cool we'll be taking requests very cool all right so before we leave donna do we need to wrap it up with another question i think this would be a good way to end this um okay. so smoking out said uh is it hard to figure out how to start building for the first time and i i would add on to that and say what resources would you recommend for somebody who wants to build for the first time Okay, so if you're first time building, uh, and I know I said earlier about don't rely on assets. If you're going to reference something in the building terms, assets is good. So say, for example, you want to build like a microphone, grab it from an asset, look at how it's built, then go to primitive shapes and slowly build up like simple shape one at a time. Look, if it needs a handle, get a simple handle. If it needs the mic part, just look at a simple shape that looks familiar and then slowly recreate it. And then you make, you might make something even better. And that's where I would say, start with learning how to build just little things, then slowly expand. That's Great my advice. best advice. All right. So I think that will conclude our show. Thank you for coming. Before you guys go, I would love for you to hang out for a minute. We're going to all come up here and get a selfie together before you head on out. So let's cue Dawn to hit that outro music and come on up. Thank you for joining us today at Killer Bee Studios. Remember to text the word BUZZ. That's B-U-Z-Z -Z, to 863-262-7763. That's BUZZ to 863-262-7763.